Actually, I've been talking to the Memorial Park Conservancy, the group that's in charge of overseeing pretty much everything that goes on out here at Memorial Park. They're hopeful not to see a repeat of 2011 here in 23, but they say it could be some time before we know just how many trees are going to die. I have an example right here behind me. This tree right here, it looks like it is distressed. You can see many of its leaves have turned brown. The Conservancy is about to start treating that tree by putting mulch at its base and making sure that it gets plenty of water. And already over here, the greenest tree, two from the end there, that was a tree they did treat and it has come back and looking great. So there are things they can do to protect the trees. And again, they are hopeful that with good planning and also just listening to Mother Nature that they can prevent as many trees dying this year as they did in 2011. But I have a great way to show you exactly what this park looked like before and after the intense summer of 2011. If we could go ahead and roll the video now, this picture from the sky way above Memorial Park back in 2010. The vast majority of the park was a deep green color because of all the pines and other trees. Well, fast forward a few years years, including the brutal summer of 2011, and you can see the difference that the loss of tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of trees makes. Initially, the thought was, let's plant them back, replacing the lost trees tree by tree. But the Memorial Park Conservancy and the city's Parks Department instead ordered a detailed study, and that led to a master plan for the park that included putting in a mixture of trees and plants that align with what would naturally grow here. Many areas of the park are in a are better position to deal with this. So what we've been working on is recreating what what's native and, and more resilient in the face of droughts, hurricanes, um, even freezes. Yeah, the Conservancy says the deep freeze of 2021 is a good example of how well planting native vegetation is working. They say they actually had more problems with the pipes freezing in park restrooms than plants dying. So obviously that master plan appears to be working, but again, it could be quite a while before we know just how many trees are going to die, have died because of the intense summer heat and how dry it's been. Once again, though, a success story right there, that really green tree mulching, and getting some water on it when it cools down, they'll add nutrients. So hopefully any trees that are struggling right now can be saved and we will not see a repeat of 2011. I'll stay in touch with them though and bring you updates.